Hey, so greetings and welcome back and welcome to part two of, you know, working on Angular schematics and forms. So here, what we have is that we kind of found our, we kind of found the place where we need to insert the appropriate code. So now what we're going to do in this working session is that we're going to actually insert that code and then hopefully you kind of get everything right here. So let's see what that looks like. You know, so essentially, you know, I'm kind of at the point here where I really need to grab uh, the, where I, I really need to grab uh, the component itself. So the, the component, um, So let's do that. Class name equals dot get text of the dot name dot get text. All right. So essentially, that's all I'm going to do here. All right. And you know, I'm saying that will be defined. If not, then. Missing. Yeah, you know, I, I like to try to keep it short. You know, this is the part where developers kind of get annoyed. So now I say uh, last property get full text. So basically, you know, this is the point where I want to. I want to make that to make the uh, appropriate update. So. So now what I need to do is I need to get the insert position equals last property yeah, properties us. All right, and then I gotta I gotta sign, I gotta sign for this. All right, so basically there's that. Then I need the final val, and then basically, right, this is going to be um, let's see my statement here. need is I'll need a camel case, a lower camel case. Camel case plus name equals thing. And then I think I should be able to import it if I'm not mistaken. Uh, 
hopefully this lower case is it. And then essentially what I want to start saying is that I want to start saying So this is going to be my value here, and then whole slot so I have to correct the indentation. Right, say foreign bars equals emv dot, and then right. So I say dot, and then lower the camel case component name. say options dot name All right that's good and then I'll say the fields equals and seeing how they're the same that form bars right essentially and then it looks like I say map I, I try to generate but I may not essentially want to do that I may want to try to do things differently so alright and then essentially what I want to say is maybe I don't want to use fields anymore I think that's going to be part of the knit form So let's see what else is needed. So it's the field. So my form bars. And then I'll say submit button click. Or right, better yet, I'll say click submit button, right? Verts first. When it comes to these functions, right? I'll say this. And essentially I'll say this dot base service dot submit form and I'll say the root form group And then essentially, right, this is going to be the lowercase and then it's gonna be the options dot name, so it's essentially that right C B ref so this dot C B ref and then we really try to fill, fill this out. So I'd say NGN sub and the on sub and then I think the API call would essentially be, um, you know, the API. So, like, so this is kind of necessary, right? So, basically, I have to say options that API call, and then I have to update the schema appropriately.
Okay, so essentially, you know, this is how I want to try to do that. I'll go to my options and then API call. It's going to be a string. Yeah, so now that has to be defined. But I think under certain types that, you know, it's going to be defined. So, so there's that. So this service, and then this this logic again. I say that value. So essentially, what I would like. Uh, all I'd like to say, so I don't have to uh, leverage the TS anymore, is to I think I, mean, I think it might be a bit too much here, um, so I'll just use TS ignore and then I can just make the appropriate update to try to insert the class. If anything. I could just. New. API. So it's it's practically going to come, and then class. You know, I can kind of notice that some people may or may not. So have a have a call class. Probably people want to just put in their raw objects. So yeah, we can just provide for that. It's okay. Say null and define. Or I'll just use this one right. And that should be good to go. Alright, so install all of that. I can just say API call argument. So, and then just keep going. And so that's what submit button click is going to look like. And then, since you're going to say button equals new WML, just copy all this out here. So there's that, and then the type, we'll leave it as primary by default, 
and then that would be the global submit and then the style don't necessarily need the style and then this dot click submit button all right so that's essentially how that submit's going to look like but then i think one more thing is that i need to do init form I need to do a little bit of init form, so init form. And then I say let fields equals this dot create text field as an example. Here, what I essentially want to do is I always want the methods to come after that property, so I have to do the little arrow statement. You know, click that, make sure that it gets clicked, so that goes over underneath there. I say create text field, and then this dot name for an update fields like so, and. Right, and then I'll just have my text field. And then just to start, just to give people an example of what this kind of looks like. And then EMV once again. So EMV, and then Right, I think to start out, you know, almost every form has a name, so I'll probably put a name here. And then I think this will be essentially and then I'll probably just be the class name. So there's my component of class name, and then it's going to be this value right here. That's the parent. That's the parent form, and then this is also going to be my error message. That says require delete require label part and then that's that. So and then init form. So and then that's basically good to go. So all that needs to happen. So a couple of needed import statements need to happen, right? Um, also, I think for the time being we're gonna put that in the next video. But I think for this one we want to see if this snippet of code if you can get properly inserted into um, the place that we need to insert, right? So. So it looks like I also want to get the uh, the the source. If I also want to get the uh, the source file for the text, so I'll say let text source file get full text. The reason I'm kind of doing it like this is because I want to try to turn it into a function someday. And then it looks like I'll just grab my indentation, right? So. And then it says like my final. So the final. And then snip it. And 
and then it looks like I need the um, uh, I'm going to need I'm going to need additional chain um, information here. Uh, hopefully, I get to. Uh, I'm not sure about the intelligence here, but. Also gonna need this, and then right. So I have the insert position. So I would say let insert your S right, and then it's gonna be tree, not necessarily host. Okay, so I I need the tree right. So this additional thing. To turn this into a class to get a, the prop um, and this is target file path. So I need this value. Final, right? So I don't really have access to final. So I say let final. And then that should be that should try to take care of that. If I'm not mistaken. Right? So now I gotta try to double check. So let insert class equals zero. So it's kind of getting confused about hey, like if there might be additional any additional issues. And then it's complaining, so let's try to initialize everything. Right, so that should be good to Alright, so that should be kind of good to go here. So that should be good, um, but in, but I essentially I don't want to um, say for source file I get full text. So at the end of this, I want to actually print out the source file. See what we get from there. So here's my application. I'm gonna try to see what this looks like. Alright, so it looks like there might be some sort of error here. Alright, cool. So, you know, with that new, um, I had to add an API call in there. So let's try to see what this code looks like. Kind of, kind of expand right here. So you see login. And, oh, <laughs> so I don't know if an if an insert took place. Oh, that's kind of really scary. That was. I think what I need to do is that I need to try to grab the new source file. 
Um, I need to, I think I need to grab the, uh, I need to get the source file again. I think that's what this game is, so we should be off the hook containing that. And then we say source file. And then I have to to me. I shouldn't necessarily have to return the file for source file, right? So Alright, so while I wait for that. Alright, so I kind of see from here. Right? So there is kind of my logic, right? But unfortunately it's kind of added things in the wrong place. Kind of don't want that, right? We want um if I kind of look at my component, I feel like something got deleted, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, so it's an ng on sub. Right, so I, I kind of need to put in the position after, after um, ng on sub, not necessarily before. So, uh, let's try to look at that, what the code responsible for that. Alright, so there's that, so that's all well good and said, but you know, this indentation, we, uh, unless we could find a better way, I definitely want to try to find an indentation library, but essentially what needs to happen is that we have to push it all the way to the front. So this whole, whole little string here, right, it can't be, even though it'll be looking very neat formatted, we, uh, we probably can't have that here. Right, so, or if I could do anything, I could just try to replace. Move. Yeah, it looks like Italicens can't quite figure it out. Alright, so there's that. Now, let's try to see what this looks like. If we can get it formatted better. So the developer doesn't have to worry about formatting. Alright, so I made this much progress, but I'd like to try to make it everything kind of even with this line. So I have to get the indentation of this, and then I, I guess replace things accordingly.
So now, lo and behold, kind of look right here, right? So now, um, right, so not 100%, but kind of good enough for me, right? So basically, I think the last but not least thing is that I just want to replace these indentations appropriately. So I think all I'll do. All right, and there, there we kind of have it completed, right? And you can even see the updates as it takes place. So thanks for watching, guys. So in the next one, right, we're going to focus on the import. So we're going to actually going to update this. We're going to update this, but then we're going to need the appropriate import. So let's try to see what that looks like.